Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crystal in the Car. This is fun. I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot more videos because I just think so much while I'm driving. Uh, a couple of videos ago, I um, talked about calming the nervous system. It was a, it was my first video, and I was like all over the place talking about lots of different things. And there's there's some things in there that I could probably break down. One of them was calming your nervous system, and really just talking about how sorry about my music. Really just talking about how there's so many things in our world that stress out the nervous system. And I feel like when the nervous system is being triggered in a stressful way, it's really hard to feel that like calm centered feeling that I talk about, you know, getting into that calm centered space. So there's a, a breathing technique that my friend Adrian, who I'm going to be um, down in San Diego with later. Um, hopefully you guys will meet her in a video. She's really awesome. Um, she taught me this very simple breathing technique and, um, you can do this when you're driving. I was just doing it basically to calm the, the, um, nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. Your exhale just simply needs to be longer than your inhale. So you can breathe in for four counts and then breathe out, breathe out for five counts. And you'll see, it's crazy. It's like magic how this works. You'll breathe in for four and then you'll breathe out for five. Breathe in for four and breathe out for five. Try it right now. You'll see it's really a, a really awesome nerve, uh, calming technique that you can do throughout the day. There's something about that longer exhale that tells the body that that it can calm down. The other thing you can do to calm the sympathet the the nervous system is smile. <laughs> Even if it's just for no reason, just put a smile on your face. Sometimes for those of you who work with me in my mentorship, very often before we meditate, I'll ask you to put a smile on your face. And the reason is because your body knows that if you're smiling all is well. You don't smile when you're being chased by you know, a bear or you're not smiling if, uh, you know, if you're in an adrenaline type situation when you're scared. So just putting a smile on your face. So if you really wanted to do this, uh, you know, if you weren't afraid of people looking at you weird, you could be doing that breathing technique while smiling. Now the third step to this would be to bring the energy of that smile to the inside of your body and all of your organs. I don't know if you guys ever read Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert or watched it on Netflix. It's a great show. Um, she meets this, um, I don't know, guru person in Bali and he, t he tells her to smile with her liver, <laughs> to make her liver smile. And that's actually a technique. It's actually um, a, a, a very good, I don't want to say ancient, but it's a very old technique to help your entire body shift into calm. So you could do, be doing the breathing, the four counts inhale, five counts exhale, put a smile on your face, and as you're breathing, feel that smile in all your organs, in your liver, your gallbladder, your large and small intestine, your stomach, your appendix, your spleen, your kidneys, whatever, you know, just kind of go through and just feel your whole body smiling, every cell smiling. You could literally do this for five minutes and shift your whole day. And finally, my, my biggest tip for uh, monitoring the nervous system is monitor what you're putting in your body. Too much caffeine, hungover from ca alcohol the night before, too much sugar, and too much social media. You, you you ingest social media and the news uh, just like you do food. It is, it's a consuming energy. So be careful what you're consuming. Be careful what you are putting into your body, into your face, into your eyes, <laughs> you know, with the things that you're watching on social media and, and just in the media in general. Um, baby your nervous system. You know, if you have a weekend day, that you can just be like, today my whole focus is on calming my nervous system. So no caffeine, I'm drinking chamomile tea, I am listening to calming music, I'm going to stretch my body, I'm gonna take a bath, I'm gonna meditate, I'm gonna go for a walk, 
Um, you know, maybe you need to calm your nervous system through working out so that it gets tired, whatever that is, explore that. Most people that live in a, an adrenaline state of, of living feel very uncomfortable with the nervous system coming calm because they don't know how they, they think, how am I going to get anything done? How am I going to, um, you know, be productive? Um, they, they feel like they're going to get bored. They feel like, you know, and, and all of that is, is withdrawals from adrenaline or withdrawals from whatever chemicals are being released from your brain when your sympath or your, um, nervous system is being activated or overactivated. Um, so you have to recognize that resistance to calm is an issue in itself. And that usually means that that's what you need to work on the most. <laughs> so when you resist meditating, when you resist coming to center, when you resist getting, you know, calm and centered and grounded, you know, you want to feel that way, but you're like, oh no, I don't have time for that. Or I'm going to fall asleep. Okay, fine. Then freaking fall asleep. Maybe you need a whole day of sleeping to get caught up. Did some of you need permission? Did you need me to say that? <laughs> I think some of you actually needed me to say that to you. If you need to spend a day sleeping because we live this crazy life and you feel like you can continue beating your body forward and stressing out your nervous system and think you're never going to get sick or shut down or have a, a crisis later, an internal crisis, um, there's your permission. Go take a freaking nap and calm yourself. Here's the thing. With a calm nervous system, um, you will actually be more productive. I know it. I know that sounds weird, but you'll actually be more productive. You'll get more done and the work you do will be top notch because it's not coming from the vibration of stress. It's not coming from the vibration of anxiety.